Okay. I'm going to do a, a little bit of a survey of the fundamental things in probability that you need for the metric exam. Um, the first thing here is way from way back when you first learned about probability that all probability is between zero and one. That uh, certain is one and impossible is zero. Um, the, the first and fundamental thing when you're working out the probability of anything that it's a fraction of the favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. So you have to think about the total number of things that can happen. You roll a dice, there are six numbers on the dice. The chance of getting an even number, because there are three even numbers, is three chances in six. If you had a bag of marbles here, of five marbles and four were blue, the chance of randomly putting your hand into the bag and picking out a blue marble would be four chances in five, or 80%. So the second page, I'll give you these notes too as well. So the probability of an event is the number of ways the event can occur over the total number of possible outcomes for that event. Now, there's some other things that are really important. Um, first, like I said, that probability is always from zero to one. If you see this, the probability of A prime, what it means is the probability of A not happening. And it's actually, and it's also called the complement. And where it comes in is that, like, say you have the probability of rain is 30%. Well, if you go 1 minus 30%, you get the probability of not rain, which would be 70%. Okay, that's important. This little symbol here, intersection, it's pretty important. The probability of A intersection means the probability of A and B happening. This symbol, <laughs> A union B, means the probability of A or B happening. Now, there's a couple of other things. I'll come back a little bit to this intersection and union. Uh, they're important ideas in a Venn diagram. If you see this word mutually exclusive, the events are mutually exclusive if there's no overlap between the two events. So there, that A and B can't happen, the probability of A and B is zero. If you think about it as two sets, they just don't touch each other, okay? But remember, if they use the word mutually exclusive, P of A and B, and this means intersection B, is equal to zero. Okay, now if you see something else, if they ever mention the word about two events being independent, write down P of A and B equals P of A times P of B. This is called the test for independence. This formula goes whenever they mention independence, or the word independent, you use this. Now, what does it mean to events being independent? Well, it means one thing doesn't affect the other. When you flip a coin when, and you get ahead, and then you flip a coin again and you get ahead, that outcome on the first coin didn't affect the other outcome. We say they're independent. And you can find the chance of getting two heads by just going a half times a half. But if it's raining outside and then a parade is canceled, well, those probabilities. Well, it's more likely for a parade to be canceled if it is raining, so we say it's independent. I'll look down here and put it in the notes. If you draw two cards one after another, they're going to affect each other. If you think about the probability of aces, if you pull an ace out of a deck and uh, then you think to yourself, okay, what's the chance of getting an ace again? Well, it's going to change. So it depends on what the first card is, what the probability of the next thing is going to be. So P of A times B doesn't work for dependent events. It works for independent events. Um, this last thing, this whole thing here, when I was talking about before, when they um, talk about intersection, if you have A and B, here's the intersection right there. That's 4. Everything in A is 5 plus 4. Everything in B is 4 plus 11. But A or B, there's a really important formula for, the, for union. It's called the addition rule. The probability of A or B is the probability of A, you add it all up, that's 9, plus the problem 9 out of 25 altogether. The probability of B is um, 15 out of 25. But you've got to subtract, to get the probability of this union, you have to subtract this 4 over 25. 
That'll give you 20 out of 25. Hey, that's what I'm looking at. 5 plus 4 plus 11. There's your 20 out of 25. That's the probability of the union of A and B. Now, if this um, intersection is zero, we'd say they're mutually exclusive. If there was nothing in here. And then it would just be the P of A plus the P of B. Um, so when events are mutually exclusive, you want to find the probability of their union. You just add them together. But if there is an intersection, then you've got to add P of A, P of B, and then subtract the intersection. This addition rule is pretty important. Um, look over those notes really carefully. You kind of need to know them really well to approach any probability, any problem you're going to have in probability. I hope this video um, helped. And here I am turning off the recording.